Make sure that you're wholly devoted and taking up your cross daily and following Him. Make sure that you're studying and reading and meditating upon God's Word. Make sure that you're speaking and sharing that hope with those that are around you. And then do everything you can to be unified. Wouldn't you like to be a part of a congregation that did all those things? If you say amen, you say yes, then go to work to make it happen. Tonight, maybe you haven't been the brother or sister that you've needed to be. Maybe you haven't been the disciple that you've needed to be because you've been distracted. Tonight, the message is hope. Maybe you're fighting a battle that very few would even under, understand. I may not understand, but I guarantee you somebody in this room can relate and empathize with you. And more importantly than that, we have a Lord, our Savior Jesus, who is touched by the feeling of our infirmities and understands humanity better than humanity itself. And he knows what it means to hurt and suffer, but he also knows what it means to be victorious and glorified. And he offers that to you. Will you come? We're going to have one more invitation during this meeting. And if something in your life needs to change, change it. Take the step. Acknowledge that something is wrong and you need to take responsibility and be accountable for the change that you want to see in your life. And the Lord is there waiting for you to come home. One of the greatest things I get to witness is when someone does come forward and they repent, you know after the service what happens? There's generally a line of people to come hug their neck. Maybe you need that tonight. Maybe you need encouragement. Maybe you need to know you're not alone. Maybe you need to know the pain is going to stop at some point. Maybe you need to know hope is not lost. Maybe you need to know that God is still there. Be reminded of that tonight. Let your brothers and sisters encourage you. If you need to be baptized to start that walk with Jesus, to be born again, do that. And upon that obedience, guess what you inherit? You inherit the family of God. Where anything that you're missing is filled. Where any void that there may be is taken away a hundredfold. But you have to come. And if we can help you, please let us. And more importantly, let the Lord. Because He knows you're hurting. Come to Jesus while we stand and sing.